Okay, next up is what I have on as part of my foundation today, and that is Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. I was very apprehensive to pick this up because the only drugstore BB cream I had tried before this was the Garnier, and I hated the Garnier BB cream. I actually returned it, which I I never return things that I buy when I don't like them. I, I try to find a way to make them work, and there was no way to make that work. But this is a whole different story, and it's ironic because this is less expensive than the Garnier, and it's also, it's Maybelline. And Maybelline and Garnier are both owned by L'Oreal, just, you know, in case you didn't know that. But, um, yeah, I love Maybelline products. Uh, very, very seldom do I have any fails with anything Maybelline. Uh, for the most part, they are terrific. But, anyway, this, love it. This is, um, you know, it's your typical BB cream. It doesn't give you good coverage, so unless you have perfect skin, you probably won't be able to wear this by itself. I have my MAC Studio Fix powder over this, and love it. I sometimes have problems with sunscreen. Have not had any issues with this one. This one has titanium, titanium dioxide in it, and I guess that's a sunscreen that I can use because I haven't had a problem with it. Okay, another thing I got, Benefit High Beam Highlighter. I have this on today just right across the top of my cheekbones, and I love it. I, I love Benefit products. The only reason why I don't buy them more often is they're quite expensive, but this one little jar will probably last me a long time because you only need the tiniest tiniest little bit I just put three small dots across the top of my cheekbones and then blend it and this is this is a great highlighter if you have fair skin if you're cool tone fair skin get it holy grail highlighter seriously okay on my cheeks today <clears throat> is the new well fairly new Revlon Photo Ready in Pinched, in the color Pinched, Cream Gel Blush. I went all over the place trying to find this, and either it was sold out, or Revlon does not seal their products. And every single one I opened, somebody had swatched it. There was usually only like one on the shelf at every store that I went to, and finally I found one yesterday at an Ulta that was not swatched and oh my god again if you are cool tone fair skin like I am this is going to be holy grail this is amazing I think this color is very unique it's like a cross between pink and peach but it's light and I have it on today and I love it. I think it's amazing. It's a little expensive for drugstore. This was uh, retails at $12.99 at Ulta, but this week at Ulta, starting yesterday for a week, all Revlon products are 40% off. So if you want to get this, if you have an Ulta near you, now is the time because you can save you know, a good chunk of money. But, oh my god, I love this. Amazing. I wish I hadn't waited so long to try it, but my experience with Revlon Photo Ready products are mixed. Um, some I like, some I don't, and I hated to spend that much money and then find out that I didn't like it, but holy grail, amazing blush. Another thing that I tried <clears throat> or purchased over the last couple months is I finally got a Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush, and I got the one in Exposed, and that is what that looks like. It's just a very natural flush of color. It isn't pink, it isn't rose, it isn't red, it isn't peach. It's just um, a very natural, God, what would you even call that? Uh, mauve? Mauve? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, this is um, 
so unique. I don't have anything at all like this in my collection in terms of the way it looks on my skin. It just gives you like this glow. Unless you've used this, you you wouldn't know what I'm talking about because it's just, it's really different. And if I swatch it on my hand, it's really not going to show you what it looks like on your cheeks. But this is pretty expensive. Uh, I mean, you know, this is like a department store price range brand, even though I bought it at Ulta. It's on, on the high-end side of Ulta. Um, do, I, do I recommend this? Yes, I would say I do. Uh, I would definitely repurchase this if I ran out because it's, like I said, it's like nothing else that I already have. I mean, usually a blush is just a blush. When is a blush not just a blush? With these two products. These are unique. I think, I really feel like you need both of those in your collection. Another blush that I tried. <clears throat> have you ever been in Target? and looked at the Boots number 7 stuff and thought to yourself, hmm, I wonder. Well, I finally bought a Boots blush. This is in Soft Dampson. This is just a, a ordinary powder blush. Beautiful color. Is it anything special? No, not really. But is it worth the money? Um, well, it wasn't really expensive. I would say it wasn't cheap, it wasn't expensive, it was somewhere in between. I like it. I'm glad I bought it. Will I reach for it a lot? Probably not because it isn't unique. It's it's like a lot of other blushes that I already have. So I like it, but I wouldn't say it's anything special. It isn't anything that you have to have, but I'm glad I have it. Okay, so let's see what else have I got to show you. I've got some eye products in all different price points. Oh my God, this is gonna be a long video. <laughs> um, I bought a couple of MAC eyeshadows. Still trying to get, you know, as many of their colors as I can, and I buy them in the palette, pro palette form. Well, I try to when I can. If it's not a limited edition color, then I try to get it in palette form. This is malt. This is just a, a pinky beige. And, you know, I'm so into the neutrals now. So I really like that. And I believe that is a matte finish. And I got grain, which is just sort of a, a beige type color. But, you know, you can do so much, so many things with these types of colors. The, the grain and the malt. I forget what um, what kind of finished grain is. I'm not going to guess because I'd probably guess wrong. Okay, so I got those two MAC colors. And then this I haven't tried yet. Um, this is Maybelline Cool Effect Cooling Cream Eye Color. I got this at Dollar Tree. So this is discontinued. But um, I thought this might make a good base eyeshadow base? We'll see. Probably not. You know, if it's discontinued and it's at Dollar Tree. Probably not, but it's just, it's such a beautiful, like, it's 11 o'clock. Like, pinky champagne color that I figured for a dollar it was worth trying anyway. And then I finally tried an LA Colors Jumbo eye pencil. And this is in the color Sandcastles. That's what it looks like. I've only tried this once and I didn't use a primer under it. I just wanted to see, I mean, chances are, you know, with any, any of these jumbo eye pencils, you have to use an eye primer under them. But I figured, who knows, you know, maybe I'll find one that you don't. Well, you do. <laughs> I haven't um, tried it with a primer under it yet, but oh my God, let me tell you. When I first put this on, I just said, this is so beautiful that I don't want to put, I don't want to set it with a powder. So I just wore it just by itself that day. And look at that. I mean, if, if you like neutrals, then you can probably appreciate how gorgeous that is. So I'm sure once I put a primer under it, it'll be fine. It'll probably be just like the NYX 
jumbo eye pencils but I just love that color it's so gorgeous speaking of NYX jumbo eye pencils <laughs> um, NYX is 40% off at Ulta this week starting yesterday for the next week so I got two two more colors of these the only colors that I had up until now was I had milk and lavender and lime so I got yogurt which is again that same I'm really into that pinky pinky beige color right now I'm very drawn to that so I don't know how well you'll be able to see that because it's just blending right in with like my my shirt jacket and my makeup and my skin and everything but I love that and then this one is called Sparkle Nude, which I was kind of afraid of because I don't like things that are extremely glittery or sparkly, but this is just the right amount of sparkle. If you're going to do sparkle, this is just the right amount. It's not like overbearing. And it's such a pretty, like, I don't know, champagne beige type color. So I got those, very happy with those, and have worn the Sparkle Nude. Awesome, awesome. Put a primer under it and you'll be okay. If you don't put primers under these Jumbo Eye Pencils, they're going to crease and melt and be a big mess as the day goes on. But if you put primers under them, they're fine. And you can even, like, you know, set them with a powder eyeshadow if you want to. I don't really like to do that though because some of these colors are so gorgeous that I don't want to cover them up. And then at the CCO I got Swell Baby which was part of the Surf Baby collection and this is a gray and it's a satin finish. This is amazing. I am so glad I found this. Isn't that pretty? And look at the finish on that. And it's it's a satin finish, so it's like silk. It's it's awesome. Um, I have slowly been picking up all the colors from that Surf Baby collection. When I go to the CCO, if I see any colors from that, I grab them because they're all good. I only have one left to find. Actually, I did see it when I bought this, but... I didn't know at that time that every single color from that collection was good, so I'm going to go back and get the last one that I don't have, which is Short Shorts. It's like a, a champagne, uh, beigey champagne type color. And then I'll have every color from that collection. Yeah, they're all winners, which is so rare in a, a MAC collection. You know, usually they're kind of uh, hit and miss, you know, but... Those are all good from that collection. Don't you just love CCOs? It gives you a second crack at things that you passed on the first time around. Plus, of course, you don't have to pay full price. 